Hey, this is Rick. This is an update on my backup water system. It's made by Liberty Pumps and it's called the Sumpjet Model SJ10. Now, if anybody saw the other video I had, um, this is the update on it. How this works is, as you can see, it's installed in a crock here as a backup system. As the water flow starts to come up, it's going to come up and hit that float. When it hits that float, before it goes over top of the concrete slab here and into the basement, it's going to energize this line right here, which is called your domestic water line. Now it goes all the way back over there, up there, and then it goes over to here. This is something new that's been installed, and it's made by Watts. It's a dual check valve. It's a number 7, 7U22. Now there's dual checks in there, that way the water line doesn't back up, you don't get any of your sump water coming back into your domestic water. That line goes over to here, which I've installed a uh, shutoff valve, so I can go ahead and shut the shutoff valve if I need to change anything out. And all you do is just solder in, or you can just use um, CPVC, which I've done. I went in and put copper out to a certain point, and then went on with CPVC. So it comes all the way back down there. It follows around the discharge line to the pump down to here and then I've got a union that's hand tight right there now you'll see a strainer I'll try to see if you can see the strainer there right there in between and that strainer once the water level gets up there will discharge out this far line comes out that way and then it discharges out side there to a four inch line I have buried out in the backyard that goes all the way out to a ditch for uh, water management. Now I've put on rubber fern coat fittings with mechanical bands so that it's easy to take apart if there's anything, any kind of debris or anything that gets in here which hasn't happened in years. And uh, this has been working pretty good. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll fill the crock up and then maybe you can see how it works. Okay, so I filled it up as far as I can. You see this line right here? This is my inlet line that comes in for storm water. And right now we're um, actually kind of dry. So it would take me forever to go ahead and fill that whole line out that goes outside of the house and get all that, you know, that amount of volume and water to come into the crop. So what I've done is I've just filled it up as much as I can. And as you can see, the water level's right here. Now, the way a, a backup pump works is, like I said, you want to make sure that the water doesn't go over and flood your basement, of course. So, being that the water level's right here, this is just going to show you how much it can discharge and how fast it can. Now, keep in mind, like I said, I don't have any water really rushing in right now, but this is a lot more economical and feasible than having a battery backup system. I had a battery backup system before I had an energy home audit and they came in and they said that that wasn't energy efficient and we had a big storm one time and the battery system um, completely drained down within a matter of a couple hours and the battery was only like six months old. So you got to understand that what a battery system does is it constantly replenishes itself so that it keeps the battery at uh, you know at tip top um, energy level, charge level. This doesn't do that. This works off of your domestic water. As long as you have water pressure coming into your home, our pressure around here is anywhere from 60 to 65 PSI. So I'll show you what happens. As the float rises, you see that strainer right there. Here it engage. No priming or anything. It has a um, Venturi system in there. And I don't know if you can tell, but the, the uh, water level is going down really quick. And pretty soon you'll probably hear air starting to rush in because it'll be below that strainer. So there's been a lot of naysayers out there that say this system doesn't work and isn't uh, feasible. Uh, I can vouch that it's a, it's a great system. Plus it's American made. Um, you can't beat it. So that's the update on the system. Um, I hope you like it. Let me know. Give me feedback. Take it easy.